today is Friday and I think I've mentioned this in the vlog before but Fridays are kind of always extra busy I have like family chores I usually try to finish everything up on Friday that I like started during the week and just kind of like pack it like full of work because I feel extremely motivated to like do things on Fridays today I am going to be filming my job I asked my manager if this would be okay because I saw someone commented about like maybe possibly me filming my houseplant job I have a job and I basically just sell houseplants um, and it's really nice it's actually like extremely peaceful which is one of the reasons why it's like I like it so much I don't I work very much like part-time because most of my jobs are <clears throat> working on the house and vlogging and this other like computer job that I'm starting and then some mural projects but this one I just usually do a couple times a week and it's super nice anyways I'm walking to work now and I'm gonna show you guys where I work and talk a little bit about what I do and then try and give some houseplant advice to those who want it or just introduce you guys to some of my favorite plants that we sell I guess also one more thing it's December but it's supposed to get up to like 60 degrees today which is crazy it's super nice out when if I have enough time I like to walk to work um, and just kind of like enjoy the 20 minutes it takes me and slow down a little bit so but anyways it's just really nice out than the rest of the day so I'm just going to be trying to film in between when customers come in but I also just end up having like a lot of peaceful time to myself because even if people do come in like a lot of times they just come to browse so I usually end up bringing like a lot of books This is the book that my manager is letting me borrow because I did have a couple houseplants but I wanted to learn more about them so I've been going through this slowly. I'm kind of close to the end. It's, it would be boring except for like one of the fun things that I like to do is like look for the plants in this book around the store or like recognize them by name just get familiar with them and then like of course like their habits and how to care for them okay so this is my little workspace I usually sit there and then this is just the desk I actually do for work is basically checking on all the plants seeing if any of them are diseased or need water or are tipped over and then I also rearrange them around the store yeah, filling up water. Occasionally on some days I'll have to label and organize plants, which is like really useful for me, like getting to know what plants have what names. Um, and that's pretty much it. And that's why like I end up reading a lot. And that's why it's also one of the reasons why I, I don't feel depressed when I come here because it's hard to with like the sun and it's like I'm not really doing anything. But at the same time, Sometimes you're, I'm like, I'll like sweep the store for the third time that day and be like, okay, like what can I do now? Cause I'll, I'll, 
go through all my books and some days are just longer than others but overall it's a pretty nice job for me to have right now one pretty big obvious downside of having a plant shop or taking care of one is that because I'm constantly moving plants and plants have dirt in them it means that I need to like sweep pretty often which is what I'm gonna do now about whether this place plays music or not. Um, so I'm hoping that this will get demonetized or something because I can't really stop the music. But uh, I wanted to say just real quick, this job is not hard. It's, and it's really nice. Like I come here and it's like, it's kind of like a peaceful once a day job away from my really chaotic I, I like I love my family but like they can be really loud sometimes so it's nice to have this job to have at least one day a week where besides Christmas music I feel pretty like oh like I, it's like it's a moment to like kind of take a deep breath I guess if there's like one thing I would say that like makes me feel uncomfortable at this job I mean, the best way I can describe it is just like, I don't feel like selling plants that much is gonna change someone's life. I think plants are great and I like taking care of them and learning about them. And who knows, maybe this knowledge will come in like handy someday. But jobs like these don't feel super inspiring to me. When I paint, even like when I babysit and when I, even when like I'm vlogging, I feel, I feel like I'm doing so much more to help other people than just like sitting behind a desk selling plants. But that's just my opinion. And I have liked this job so far. I've learned a lot about plants. I've really enjoyed it. I think that's just something that makes me feel like I've, I think I've been at this job for two months now almost I don't feel like this is the type of sustainable job for me personally um, but right now I like it it's benefiting me enough for me not to quit right now um, I feel kind of bad like talking on this on camera, but I'm just trying to like explain it in a way that makes sense. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite plants. Okay, basically the music won't turn off and it feels like it's getting louder and louder. So I think this video might have to have like music over the entire thing. I'm gonna start with this. This is a peperomia, a hope peperomia. And I haven't ever taken care of one of these, but they come in like a bunch of different shapes and sizes, which has been really hard for me to figure out. This is a peperomia as well. I think this one's really pretty. A trillion plant, I guess. You can't tell. And this is a watermelon peperomia because of the stripes. This one's really pretty as well. But those are all like related and they don't look alike at all, which is kind of crazy to me. But that's, I guess, how the world works. Another group. Um, that people seem to like a lot are begonias. Rax begonia, it's really pretty as you can see. We've had like a bunch of different like looking ones come through here. Maculata, Maculata begonia. Yeah, this one is pretty as well. We've had these for a while. Silver spots, like how is that possible? But they're really pretty. These are both different types of calatheas. And what's really cool about calatheas is that they basically look like they were painted on. They have just like crazy patterns that are really beautiful. And this really pretty plant that's like kind of like bluish green is called a peacock fern. Um, ferns are really delicate, so if you don't know what you're doing with a plant, 
I don't recommend getting a fern unless you want to like devote a lot of time to it. Just like researching like how to keep it alive. Because they can be really finicky, just like about a bunch of stuff. But they're really pretty if you do figure out how to take care of them. Okay, a couple more plants. Really cool because it's called split rocks. Basically, there's a bunch of different plants that imitate or mimic natural looking things. So this is supposed to look like rocks and I think that's really cool. Plants that are easy to care for. Some of them I've had, some of them I've seen in people's houses growing beautifully, and then some of them I've just been told are easy to care for. Pothos. This is like a satin exotica pothos that I think is like gorgeous because there's like silver on leaves once again that just I can that color is really pretty on plants. This is like a giant marble queen pothos or something, but I think it's just marble pothos. These grow beautifully. If you're looking for like a vine plant that like does well in low light-ish, I think all plants could do with like a little natural light. This one can grow really long and really beautiful and really leafy really quickly, so. This is a philodendron. Are kind of similar to pothos, maybe not as widely talked about. Also very viney, very pretty. Snake plants. Personally, I've never gotten a snake plant. I kind of prefer like more leafy plants that are like softer, but I've been told that these do very well in like really low light and shade and just don't need a whole lot. Um, so thrives on neglect, I think is the proper term. Really popular plant that's nice because it's small is just succulents. We have a bunch of different kinds. Normal, just these are just called succulents. I don't know if they have a specific name. They probably do, I just don't know it. String of hearts, I think they kind of take a while to like get big. So if you're okay with having a small plant for a while, these can be really, really cool and like the little, the little tiny hearts. My personal favorite, I had to pause this because the customer was coming in, but is this one really needs to be watered, but this is string of turtles. So the patterns on the leaves is why it's called that. I just think that it's really sweet. Cool. Anyways, how I tell that they need to be watered, there's this for like especially big plants. It's a moisture meter. I've never used it, but supposedly it works pretty good. But generally, I just can tell, you can tell by wilting, um, which by the way, I didn't know this, but it's actually not that bad. It's like basically your plant telling you I need water and it's not the worst thing in the world. It doesn't mean that they're gonna die. I used to think that that was like awful, like that I went too far. Wait, if it's really light, it probably could use some water. If the soil starts cracking and it's pretty dry, and then I guess there's also like a test you can do with your finger by like if you put like try and put your finger in the soil and like it's not soft at all or you can't sense any moisture, then it probably needs water. Plants of course do differently in summer versus winter. In winter, they don't need to be watered as often. One more thing that I didn't know is that a lot of plants like to be watered from the bottom up and saturated. You won't water your plant for a couple weeks depending on what type of plant it is, um, more or less time. And it will like completely dry out and then you saturate it like crazy. And this is what I'm talking about. We have these tubs for the plants to soak up water from the bottom which I didn't know until I got this job, but that's the way that a lot of them like to get water, but it makes complete sense. Those are some of my favorite plants and some of the most popular and coolest plants at the store. gonna film me leaving work and say a few more things in the vlog but 
the battery died even though I just charged it before so I think I might have like left the camera on an accident anyways uh, thanks for watching and the shop that I work at is called leaf and limb I think they have like a social media called like at leaf and limb on the levee if you're interested in that and if you live around here if you want to come visit sometime I can't guarantee that I'll be there but it's a cool shop and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.